Hey you guys, I wanted to bring you a at-home workout that has no equipment in it that you can do anytime, anywhere. You can take it on vacation with you. Um, you're at home with the kids, the kids are home from school, spring break, all that kind of stuff. No equipment needed. They're all gonna be supersets. So they're gonna be like two exercises paired together and you can do them for three rounds, four rounds, five rounds. I'm not gonna really suggest sets and reps because you need to like use your own discretion with that at home. Maybe something that's 20 reps for me, you know, is hard, but maybe something that's 30 reps for you is, is hard. So everybody's gonna be a little bit different. Of course, any of these, if you have resistance to add at home, you totally can. But for this demo, I'm just gonna be doing them all body weight to show people that that's an option. So there's gonna be uh, two leg exercises that we're gonna start with, and then we're gonna move into two pushing exercises. So exercises where you're pushing resistance away from you, and then we're gonna do two things for our back. And then I do have a core exercise at the end. So I'm gonna go through sort of like a set of each thing. So we're gonna start off, like I said, in a superset pair with the leg exercises. This one's gonna be a double air squat. So you go ahead and get in your good squat form and double, you're gonna go down as low as you can, come up a little bit, down again, and then up. So it's sort of like a double, double, and then up. Double, double, up. From the side, double, so like I said, rep range is gonna be up to you on this one. Um, if I was doing a double air squat with no weight at all, probably, and I was going deep like this and getting good resistance from it, probably 15 if I had to say. We are gonna go right into another leg exercise, so keep that in mind as well. But it does really get into the quads, the glutes, the hamstrings, the core. Pairing that one up with a pendulum lunge. So pendulum, you're gonna go into a backwards lunge and then right into a forward lunge. Right back into that back and forward. So, one rep looks like this. One, one, two, two. And these build up real quick. <laughs> it gets a crazy quad burn, that's for sure. Honestly, I do these quite a bit and Half the time, I don't even use weight at all, so it's an excellent body weight exercise. And if you don't feel comfortable with that transition I made, just stop in the middle and take it right to the front. You stop in the middle, take it right to the back. I'll do a couple on the other leg just so you can see what it like, looks like from the front. So I go just like that, I stop in the middle, take it back. What do I do with my hands, right? So it's like, ah, oh, what do I do with hands? If you're having trouble balancing, this is a really nice option. Out to the side. Some people like to put their hands on their waist. Totally fine. You can put them up in the air. You can do jazz hands. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Maybe you can hold a kid. You can hold an animal. Whatever works for you. All right. So that's your first superset. Double air squat, pendulum lunge. I would say if I was at home doing a bodyweight workout or on vacation, maybe a three to four rounds of that. You know, somewhere in the 12 to 20 rep range, just depending on your skill level of where you're at with your fitness. Okay, so we got the legs done. We're gonna fire out two pushing exercises. They're both gonna be on the ground. The first one is gonna be a pike push-up. So it's gonna hit your shoulders quite a bit, upper chest, core, and it's gonna ask a little bit of flexibility in your hamstrings too because of the direction that your body is in. So I'm gonna get like this, which is a pike basically. And I like to have my hands just pointed slightly out. I kind of grip the ground with my fingertips to keep the weight off of my wrists. And I'm looking to go down like this. Just bringing my forehead to the mat. Now you can play around with this in a lot of different variations. If this isn't hard enough for you, you can easily grab something like a bench or a box or, you know, if you're in your living room, if you have like an ottoman or something like that, um, that's a wonderful option. And so what I would do is I would put my feet up on it like this, and that's just gonna give you more range of motion. These are great. So, plus all the blood goes right down your head, <laughs> which is always exciting. Yeah. All right, so definitely um, 
breathe. <laughs> That's gonna help you out a lot. And I think that tip of sort of gripping the ground with your fingers can really take a lot of pressure off of your wrists. So you get the pike push-ups. You're gonna try those out for, I would say, between 10 to 15 repetitions. And then you're gonna pair it up with a staggered push-up. Staggered push-up, I'm gonna have one hand up and one hand back, just like this. And then I'm gonna go right down. And I'm gonna do reps on each side. And then I'll just switch, get myself stable, and go right back down. Exhaling, I'm gonna push on that exertion. So yeah, those build up in a hurry too. So those are two great pushing exercises to not only engage your shoulders and your arms, but your chest and your core, and get your heart rate up too, obviously. Uh, we got two, something to hit the back that you don't need weights for. You know, if you were at home and you had dumbbells or a kettlebell or a pull-up bar, obviously you could be doing different like rowing actions, but today we're just doing body weights. And I wanna do two things that are at least gonna activate those muscles in the back for you. First one's called superhero pulls. All right, so I'm gonna bring my arms out. I'm gonna lift my feet a little bit. That immediately engages my glutes and my lower back, which is great. And then I use like kind of my imagination here to pretend like I'm pulling something right down, right through. Squeeze my shoulder blades down and back as I do that. And you can really create a lot of tension here. Now, if I set it up and I'm just kind of like going through it like this, no, you're not gonna feel a lot of resistance. You're kind of creating your own resistance here. So I'm squeezing hard in my glutes and I'm squeezing really hard here. So those are hard, those are pretty challenging. <laughs> but yeah, give those a try. Superhero pulls is what I call them. Kind of like the equivalent of, say you're, sitting on a bench at like a gym, you've seen the bar and they do like the pull downs. It's a very similar movement. You're just, you've changed the direction of it and you're adding your own, your own resistance. Um, now this one, you lay on your back, it's called a back widow. And it doesn't matter so much how you have your legs. They can be flat down or like this. I pretty much just have them bent. So I'm gonna have my arms flat on the ground and I'm gonna use the strength of the back of my arms to sort of bring myself up like this and squeeze those back muscles. Go back down, squeeze. This also opens up the shoulders and chest, which is never a bad thing. Since a lot of us sit sort of hunched over with like a forward neck position anyways. So that might feel nice. Definitely challenging. So like I've been saying with everything, rep range is gonna be, go by feel. People are always like, how many reps, how many reps, how many reps? The answer is go by feel, because the answer depends. If a million people watch this video, probably gonna have a million different you know, fitness levels, so go by feel. Um, to wrap up your entire workout, I have a core exercise, it's called the dead bug, and I do this on a regular basis all the time. Set yourself up like this. I got my legs up at 90 degrees, Arms are straight up, and I'm going to take one arm that's going to go back while the opposite leg goes forward, just like this. And I'm going to hold it there for about two seconds and then bring it back up to the start. So as I'm doing this, I'm trying super hard to push my hips into the ground so I can really create a lot of tension in the lower back and all through the abdominal area. I always do it with my thumbs like this, and I'll try to make a point of like having my thumb tap the ground. Try a couple on the other side. Extend out. If you have some light weights at home, this is a nice one to do. You're never, this isn't an exercise that you're ever gonna go heavy weight with, obviously. You're kind of more looking for just some good build up and repetition. But I think this is a really excellent one for core strength, lower back strength. 
And like I said, I do these on a regular basis. So, um, so we got the two leg exercises. You're supersetting back and forth with the double air squat, the pendulum lunge. I'll write this all at the bottom of the description too of the workout. And then we got the two push exercises with that, that pike push up and the staggered push up. And then the two back exercises with the superhero pulls and then that back widow. And then finishing it out with the dead bug. So you could do this exercise as a whole big circuit. You know, write it out and do it as a whole big circuit. Or you could do it as those supersets for rounds. Either way, however you want to do it, you have artistic freedom. It's your workout. So yeah, try it out. Let me know how you like it. It's always fun to work out at home. Maybe get the kids involved. Like I said, grab a pet if you have, want, want some extra resistance. So yeah, let me know how it goes.